Now that summer is here, I want to take an opportunity to talk to you about water safety. As the weather gets warmer and temperatures continue to rise, many of us will want to spend time enjoying the beautiful lakes and rivers of Puget Sound. These lakes are inviting and a great source of recreation. Sadly, they can also be the source of tragedy. Many water tragedies occur during the onset of warmer weather. Last year, there were 21 drowning deaths in King County, 13 of them in open water such as rivers, lakes, or Puget Sound. Almost none of the victims were wearing life jackets. We want all of you to enjoy the warm weather. That's why it's important to be aware and informed before you venture out. Local rivers are very cold due to snow melt. In addition, the rivers are running fast and may have clogs of debris from winter storms. That deadly combination can suck unsuspecting swimmers, rafters, and tubers under the debris where they get caught and drown. It happens in minutes. The Sheriff's Office and Public Health want you to know that you can avoid trouble by following some simple recommendations. First, know the water. Washington waters are cold enough to cause hypothermia, even on the hottest days. Hypothermia will weaken even the strongest swimmers. Next, know your limits. Drowning often happens when a person tires while swimming or a novice swimmer tries to keep up with friends who are strong swimmers. You should learn to swim and choose areas where there are lifeguards. Wear a life jacket if you are swimming anywhere else. Avoid swimming at local beaches until lifeguards are on duty. It's especially important to watch children closely when you're in or near any type of water and stay close enough to reach them immediately. It only takes a minute for a child to disappear underwater. If you own or operate a boat, be sure to wear a life jacket whenever you're on the boat, jet skiing, tubing, or doing other water sports. Children under 12 years old must wear a Coast Guard approved life jacket at all times when on the deck of a boat under 19 feet in length. In addition, before using kayaks, rafts, or other boats, learn to safely operate the craft. Learn and practice water skills and first aid. Washington law requires operators of motorboats with 15 horsepower or greater to take a boater safety education course. Swimming and water sports are great. You just need to remember to take precautions. Our marine unit is always there to protect you. Take care and be safe.